Hey guys, John's back for another one. Yes, two nights in a row. Can you believe it? Yes. The opinionated asshole's here. And tonight we're going to be an asshole. Again. Uh, two, three weeks ago, I placed an order. A two for 40 sale with Kringle Candles. And this was probably about the first time in probably about three years since I ordered from Kringle, to be honest with you. Uh, I believe the last time was during the early days of COVID. And Kringle, I want to say, was running 50% off sale. So, wow, what the hell. 50% off, what the hell. So, uh, sitting there thinking, you know what? I haven't had the blueberry muffin in a while. So... See if I can get the blueberry muffin. I see it was two deals, so I just oh looking and looking and looking now. Oh, what the hell? I'll try this one. And um I messaged one of them Kringle ambassadors. Told her what I did. And she left me know. John, I don't like that candle. It's too light. There's no bakery. Okay, thanks for the heads up. So I get the candle and I finally I lit it up. May burn for about four hours. And I'm really not getting much off of it. Like, oh my gosh, she's right. It is freaking light as hell. And you know, yeah, and, and of course on top of that, over the past month. I've been really either burning or throwing candles on hot plates, just trying to get the hell out of here. They, they've sat around for so freaking long. Just trying to get it down, get stuff out that I don't want no more, or, you know, and try to maybe even make room for stuff that I want, that I actually think is good, to a point, for the most part. But anyway, here it is. I believe it was listed even even though it was a fall, what I call fall candle, still listed as new on the website. Now Kringle is you know regular price points in the same area as Yankee. So worst case scenario with Yankee, you might pay full price for one and get a second one and a half off. So not so bad then. I still feel Kringle is the worst deal when it comes to promotions. So. Granted, this did throw better than that warm apple pie. But here we have, yes, the apple cinnamon muffin. The apple cinnamon muffin. Okay, so after I threw on that hot plate, uh, I decided to go upstairs, grab a shower. I come back down. And granted, it did throw better. It did throw better once it was on the hot plate. I think I left it actually set in that hot plate for a good 12 to 16 hours. 12 minimum. But I noticed that this apple and cinnamon to me was so freaking fake. And it's like, ugh, and I just couldn't stand it. And absolutely no bakery to it whatsoever. Uh, so I, I know I kind of just left it go until I couldn't smell it anymore. Or get you no know, much of the use out of it as I could, and I need to say this would not be a repurchase for me. Wow, uh, damn thing, never is on cold, it's not that bad. I mean, it's not gonna rock your world, but it's, I mean, it's not horrible on cold. But again, it just came off so freaking fake to me. So, I, no, definitely not one for me. You know, the blueberry muffin, I mean, you, you know, you could get the blueberry tones and you can get the bakery tones. You're not going to get that with this uh, at all. And uh, 
you know, one person even said to me they felt it was too spicy. You're not going to hear that from me. I mean, I I love cinnamon to death. I know cinnamon, most people either, you know, either they like it or they don't. I love it. But it was so fake to me. I, I no. I, I want something that's more authentic. And to me, it's just not that. I, you know, I remember somebody used to even say, um, somebody's been around for years and years and has experimented with all types of companies. Uh, not too long ago, they say, you know, Kringle used to be able to pride themselves, if nothing else, that their candles were authentic smelling. And uh, this person felt that Kringle has lost that. And maybe they're onto something, because this, this really was fake to me. So that's about all, really all I got to say about that. Now, um, tired of wasting my time here with the... Uh, garbage and unfortunately things aren't going to get much better uh let's see here one there's six here one over there i got one one burn right now yeah i got about another eight coming and reviews at least eight more reviews coming overall uh i'm going to try to do all eight of them over this weekend and my service here at home totally sucks so what I will be doing is try to film at least eight of them this weekend and as I leave for work I will start uploading a video each night uh, I'm off Friday and Saturday nights so I'll be trying to upload a video Sunday night through Thursday night uh, until I run out of stuff here, so, but that at least lets you know what the heck's going on, uh, I hope everything's good with you guys, you know, you can catch me, you know, you want to follow me on Instagram, you can follow me on Instagram, uh, just type in H-A-U-C-K underscore John, you'll find me on Instagram, uh, to you people that are subscribed to me and stay subscribed to me because after I was gone for over at least a year or more, thank you. I appreciate you. I'm just here to tell it like it is and I don't care if I offend anybody. I want to be able to look at myself in the mirror every freaking day knowing that I gave you honest testimony. I don't want to say I'm not going to be I, I, I'm not going to be ambassador for nobody. I'm too opinionated, I tell it like it is, and I'm not going to care if it offends somebody. I'm not fake. That's all there is to it. These people, I, they're telling you that, oh, this is great, this is great, oh, everything. They want to be all rain, like rainbows and uh, I don't know, whatever. No. I, I, I honestly don't know how they even look themselves in the mirror. So... That's it for tonight. Like I said, that's what's coming up. I'll see you guys around. Thank you. Have a great night.